Coffee Break Chinese, Season 1, Episode 19. Nimin Hao, Wo Jiao Peng Ma Ke. Nimin Hao, Wo Jiao Pan Yong Qing. Otherwise known as Crystal. We're delighted to be back with another episode of Coffee Break Chinese. Huan Ying Lai Dao Coffee Break Chinese. Dui. Okay, this time, Crystal, we are talking about a particular topic. We actually mentioned this last time. What is the topic today? Let's see if I can ask. Jintian Woman Shui Shui Shi Shanma. I don't think were, were my tones right on Shui Shi. No, 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 it's all correct. Okay. Jintian Woman Shui Shi Shanma. So, what are we learning about today? Mm. 今天我们学习 traveling. Traveling. And in Chinese, that would be? 旅行. 旅行. Okay, we're going to be learning about traveling and we're going to start with some cultural information, aren't we? There's also lots more language to learn and we'll be looking at ordering tickets and specifying the type of trains that you want to travel on and much more. So, 准备好了吗? 开始吧! Okay, as promised, we're going to start with a little bit of culture. Mm-hmm. Crystal, tell us a little about all things travel in China. First of all, let's start with, with the airlines. Mm-hmm. Fiji is a very popular way to travel. In the past, people couldn't afford a flight ticket. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, because of the tra- uh, competition, so more and more people can actually afford to travel around in China. Um, for example, from Beijing to Shanghai, It'll take about one, one half an hour by flight and it's not expensive at all. So would it be more expensive to take the train than to fly from Beijing to Shanghai, for example? I assume you can use uh, London and then Scotland mm-hmm. as an example. It's a similar situation. Okay. Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. So where would be the main travel hubs? Beijing, mm-hmm. Shanghai, Guangzhou. Um, these three cities are the major travel hubs, but mm-hmm. China is so big. Yeah. So each city has, you know, if it's a medium-sized city, there's a chance that it has an a airport. Okay, and what about the uh, huochi? Here is a very interesting story. I experienced huochi in the old time. Mm-hmm. And for example, between Shanghai and my hometown, which is Guizhou, southwest of China, it used to take two days and one night on wow. the train. And now China has high speed trains or bullet trains. Mm-hmm. And I haven't tried how long the distance between Shanghai and my hometown, but certainly the high speed train has changed the travel within China dramatically. For example, from Guangzhou to my hometown, it's only four hours on a speed train and it's very good quality train. Yeah. And they go very fast, obviously, oh, they travel yes. very fast. Oh, yes. I've been looking at some travel between Beijing and Shanghai and it's about four and a half hours, really, oh, in, wow. in the bullet train. So There you go. So if you take flights about one an hour or one hour and a half, it's more or less the same yeah. distance by time, I mean. And by the time you get checked in and everything oh, yeah. in, the air, in the airport, it, it certainly makes it an interesting option. And it's very comfortable. Talking of, of comfort, um, am I right in understanding there are different types of, of yeah. seats and, and so on that you can you can have in, in a train? Yeah, yeah. I think in a traditional train, yeah, it's easier if you could afford. You, you can have a soft sleeper uh-huh. or uh, then you have soft seats or hard seats. Okay. When I was a student, no, no such a luxury you know, experience. I had to take hard seats. Yeah. Imagine that. Um, for for a two two day journey, that might be know, <laughs> something else. Yeah, I know. And when you're booking tickets, can you can a, a foreigner book before you arrive in, in China, for example? Uh, you could do yeah over on the internet. You could book ticket China now. Uh, you have to use your own passport if a foreigner to book tickets. So they have to take down your name, date of birth, and also your passport number. Okay. And then you once you book the ticket online, you have to personally go to the train t- uh, office to collect your ticket. So it's a little bit, you know, troublesome. For Chinese citizens, they have Chinese ID card, so they could book the ticket online and then um, they don't have to go personally to collect it. They can just get a machine, go to a, somewhere there's a machine, you can collect your machine, just like in Glasgow, Central yeah. Station. Okay. 
Now, another uh, method of transportation we've also talked about is the subway. Remind me what that was. Yeah. Do you know what that means? Um, In Chinese, di means the ground. The ground, okay. Um, literally, it means iron or steel. All oh, right, okay. okay. So, it's the, so the steel train under Under the ground, the ground. okay. Yeah. So the DTA, are there subways in, in major cities in, in yes. China? Uh, Beijing, firstly, and then we have in Shanghai. The begin- in the beginning, Shanghai had only one line, number one, yep. <laughs> line one, and then we have line eight. I don't know exactly how many lines they have now, but uh, Guangzhou has DTA. Uh, Tianjin should have DTA as well. So major cities all have DTA nowadays. It's very convenient. And of course, it's, it's easy to get around because it, you don't really need to worry about the traffic up exactly. <laughs> on, the, on the ground level. Yeah, it could be much, much quicker than a taxi. And tell me, if you're in the DTA in Beijing or Shanghai, um, will the, the signs all be written in Chinese or will you have also oh, signs written so, in English? They are so good, English and Chinese. Okay. And also each stop, the broadcast will tell you the name of the stop in both Chinese and English. Okay. That's that's good news because if I if I ever venture to uh, to, to China, then I'll definitely be yeah. needing the English version. I'm sure. Yeah. Um. What about taxis? Taxi is very um inexpensive mm-hmm. in China, and uh, you could pre-order taxi, but everybody just stand by the street, wave, just like in New York. Uh, so you can just hail a taxi from walking along the street. Talking of walking, I think that's probably my favourite thing to do when I'm travelling because yeah. you get a real sense of the, the, the neighbourhood. You get a sense of, of what life is really like when you're walking around. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's too far to walk. Mm. Uh, be Pai Yuan. Pai Yuan la. <laughs> um, but I do enjoy walking. Mm. However, walking in China, you need to be terribly careful, double cautious, because... Sometimes when you see a green man, you know, lights illuminating, but still have cars coming through. So you have to look both sides, make sure there's no car driving through, and then you walk. Okay. Therefore, I found it difficult when I go back to China. It took me quite a while to cross the streets. <laughs> it probably would take me even longer then. <laughs> Okay, let's leave our cultural point for now because we've talked about travel, but also we need to do some of this in in, in Mandarin. Obviously, we've done some uh, some some travel before. We've looked at various phrases linked to travel. Mm-hmm. So let's do a little more review now, and we'll introduce some new language too, all related to travel. How? Okay, let's begin with the word for train station, which we've seen many times. 火车站. And the bus station? 汽车站. So let's just remind ourselves that train is 火车. And the jan part is station. the station. So the bus is 汽车. Okay. We're going to make up sentences based on, on these words, but we're going to be using the words for arrive and leave. So Crystal, can you teach us the word for arrive? 到. 到. Okay, that's straightforward enough. Mm-hmm. What about leave or depart? Fa che. Fa che. Is that the same che as in hua che zhan? Right, so it's got something to do with travel. Yes. So fa che. Meaning depart. Depart. Yeah. Let's then put together the sentence. At what time or when does the train for, let's say, Tianjin mm-hmm. leave? Qu Tianjin de hua che. Let's hear that one again. 去天津的火车几点发车? Okay, can I ask you about this sentence? The 去, is that go? go. Mm-hmm. So are you seeing here, go, Tianjin type of train, how many, uh, how many o'clock, o'clock? Uh, departs? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the train for Tianjin departs at what time? Go, Tianjin type of train, mm-hmm. how many o'clock departs? Chu, Tianjin de hua che, ji dian fa che. Right, so let's change it for the train for Beijing. Chu, Beijing de hua che, ji dian fa che. Beijing 
So if it were a bus that we're going to uh, Shanghai, let's say, what time does the bus for Shanghai leave? I'll mm-hmm. try this. Chu Shanghai the hu qi zhe ji dian fa zhe. Okay, Shanghai. Shanghai, so mm-hmm. fourth and then third. Okay. Shanghai. Chu Shanghai the hu qi zhe ji dian fa zhe. Qi zhe. Don't forget your H. Oh, my. Qi zhe. Okay, one more time then. Chu. Shanghai the Ji Chu Ji Dian Fa Chu. Okay, so the answer to that is I don't know, the, the train for Tianjin leaves at 8 35. Can you give us that? Chu Tianjin the Hua Chu Ba Dian San Shi Wu Fen Fa Chu. Okay, let's split this up into sort of English translation here. Mm -hmm. Literally, you're saying go Tianjin type of train at 8 o'clock for the 35 minutes depart. So, 去天津的火车八点三十五分发车. Okay, Uh, that's departing. What about arriving? Mm. So when does the train arrive in Tianjin? Tianjin, okay. Mm-hmm. That's easier. Mm-hmm. And uh, what time does the bus arrive in Guizhou? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guizhou, mm-hmm. Guizhou, so fourth and third. Gui, uh, fourth and first. Guizhou. Okay, so can I try saying the bus arrives in Guizhou at 10.24? Okay. Um, Qi chu shi dian er shi si fen dao Guizhou. 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 Very good. Okay, let's hear the whole sentence again. 汽车十点二十四分到贵州. Okay, so far so good. Let's talk about trains a little further and learn some more vocabulary associated with trains. The high-speed trains, or the bullet trains that you talked about, can you give us the word for that? It's very easy. 高铁. 高铁. 高 means high. So basically it's a short for 高速. 铁路, 高速, high speed, 铁, 铁路, meaning railway, railway. So, so in the, short, 高铁. Is the 铁 the same as 地铁? 地铁. Okay, yeah, so yeah. it's the same word. 高铁, that's the high speed train. And what about if you're looking for a ticket? 票. 票. That's easy. Okay, a nice word, yeah, 票. Uh, uh-huh. So uh, a train ticket then, would that be? You can uh, do it. Uh, 火车票 非常好 Then right. you can do bus ticket now uh, 汽车票 Fantastic How about uh, plane ticket? Uh, I think you said it's 飞机 for plane yeah. uh-huh. 飞机票 Excellent Right um, An underground ticket 地铁 I uh, forgot my tone 地铁票 Okay. You don't need me anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got these different types of piao. Uh-huh. And uh, you, you mentioned earlier, you've got different types of seating and mm. so on. Do you have to specify what kind of ticket you're wanting when you're buying it? Yes, particularly when you travel for long distance. Okay. Uh-huh. So can it's, you explain then the different okay, types? Okay, so we have hard seat okay. in Chinese. Ying zuo. Ying zuo. Hard translates to ying. Uh-huh. Zuo is a seat. And I'm guessing that will be the cheapest. Yes. Okay. So ying zuo. And the opposite to ying zuo is soft seat. Ran zuo. Ran zuo. Mm. Okay. So ran meaning soft? Yes. Okay. What else might you have? Uh, you could have soft slipper. Okay. So. Ran wo. 
run what? That's the best. That's the best, okay. Uh, to travel. Um, uh, do you get a hard sleeper, which sounds quite yeah, horrific? Yeah, hard sleeper is better than hard seat. Well, I suppose, Trust yeah. Me on that. <laughs> uh, so that's ying wo. Ying wo. Wo means, uh, have you heard about wo shi? I'm not sure. Bedroom. No, we've not okay. done that. No. So wo means to, to lie sleep. down to sleep. Okay, yeah. wo. So is I lie down, wo wo. Uh, in ancient Chinese, yes, but now we say wo shui jia. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you wish you hadn't asked something. <laughs> okay, so we've got ying zuo for hard seat. Juan zuo, soft seat. Juan wo, soft sleeper. Mm-hmm. Ying wo, hard sleeper. Right. Okay. Is there anything else we need to know? Yeah, for example, you travel by long distance and you can have a coach. Mm-hmm. So we say da ba. Da ba. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's a coach. Da ba. Da means big. Ba is actually like a bus, a big bus. Big bus, okay. Uh-huh. So would a, a coach ticket be a da ba piao? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and you also, we learned boat for going a boat trip. Right. What's the boat again? Chuan. Chuan, of course. And there's one other method of transport which we can't forget about and that would be of course the bicycle hmm, so very omnipresent popular. very very popular but nowadays in the street you see more and more cars uh, yeah yeah you still see bicycles as well okay so what mm-hmm. what is a bicycle in, in mandarin uh-huh. zi xing zi right okay so in this expression you recognize che. Che, that's vehicle yeah Okay, 自行 means automatically run. Oh, okay. So uh-huh. it doesn't need petrol, I guess. It doesn't exactly. need any kind of fuel to, uh-huh. to make it run other than the feet. Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to take a break now. We've certainly covered quite a lot in this lesson so far. But after the break, we'll be back and we'll be dealing with more train vocabulary and particularly with that one aspect that no one likes when they're traveling, delays. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in pinyin and Chinese characters. You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com. Okay, Crystal, the dreaded word that no one traveling wants to hear is, of course, the delay. What is the delay in Mandarin? One dian. One dian. Mm-hmm. So two third tones there. Yeah. One dian. Have you come across that? Dian. Yeah. One o'clock, two o'clock. Yeah. So dian is o'clock. One means late. So what is the announcement that we would hear if... The train for uh, Guangzhou is delayed. If you imagine you're really at a train station, yeah, yeah you'd hear uh, the speaker says, "Qu uh, Guangzhou de huo che wan dian," and then they'll tell you for how long. For example, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, okay. or an hour. So could could you give us a full sentence then? Yeah, Qu Guangzhou de huo che wan dian. So that's 10 minutes. Hmm. The train for Guangzhou is 10 minutes late. Yes. It's running 10 minutes late. I'll try saying that. Chu Guangzhou de Huo Chu Wan Dian Shu Fen Zhong. The train for Guangzhou is 10 minutes late. Now, if you found the, the train that you think is your train, mm-hmm. um, I imagine the scenario you get on the train and you move to a particular seat that looks free. Perhaps it's a good idea to ask, is the seat free? Mm-hmm. Right, so is like this yes, one. Yeah. Uh, seat. Seat. Kong. Kong. Means empty. Empty. Ma. Question. Could we say kong bu kong? Mm-hmm. 这个座位空吗? Mm-hmm. 
or 这个座位空不空？对 ，OK。Um, also, something that happens to me even in Scotland when I'm travelling the train, sometimes you get on the wrong train and you、oh, want to、yes. double check that you're、right. on the correct train. So, how would I say?、Uh, is this the train for Dalian? This is to Dalian's train. That makes sense. This is Go Dalian type train.、Uh, train is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, this is to. Dalian 的火车吗？非常好。So is this the train for for、uh, Guangzhou? This is to Guangzhou's 的火车吗？非常好。Another very useful expression is to ask when you arrive. For example, when you arrive in Dalian, you'd say, 我们几点到大连 Literally, we. Um, at what time arrive? Dalian. 对，我们几点到大连？非常好。Okay, we've been talking about、uh, trains and different types of. Transport. What we've not talked about is actually buying the ticket. So we know what a ticket is, piao. Right. But how would I say, for example, a ticket to、uh, Dalian? 一张去大连的票 Crystal, you've you've said 一张、mm. What's that? 一 is one. Yeah. 张 is the measure word for the ticket. Ah, okay. So, um, is it only used for tickets? Oh, no, no, no! It can be used for 一张纸 a piece of paper, as、okay. long as it's flat sheet. So when we learned the word for leaflet, if we were asking for one leaflet,、mm. would that be 一张 If it's one sheet, one sheet. However, if it's a booklet, then you use 一本 It's like a book. Okay.、Mm-hmm. These measure words are very tricky. I don't really want to get too far into them. Yeah. But、um, if you said 一个 Yeah, they will understand. They will understand definitely.、Yeah. Good is very generic.、Yeah. Okay, but ideally we would say 一张、mm-hmm. So you said 一张去大连的票对 So again, one measure word: go to Dalian type of ticket. 对对对 Okay, 一张去大连的票 Okay, I'm thinking of the way I would do this in in other languages, and I would probably start by saying I would like to go to the place,、mm. and then I can specify a little more information. So, can I use 我想去对 I would like to go, and then you just say the the, the place straight after、mm-hmm. that. 我想去天津 Um, can I say? 请给我 so please give me,、mm-hmm. piao. Yeah, yeah,、um, but how many piao? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, was、uh, 一张票对对对对 So please give me one ticket. 对 If I were to ask that, given all those strange combinations of types of tickets that you told us earlier about、uh-huh. the soft seats, the hard seats,、uh-huh. and so on, what would the the ticket person、uh-huh. say to me? What would 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 they say? What kind of ticket、yeah. or something like that? They probably just say what 票什么票什么票、mm-hmm. 什么票 Okay, and then I could specify that I want a、um, a 硬座票、mm-hmm. a hard seat ticket, or the other one was、uh, 软座软座票、uh-huh. a soft seat ticket.、Uh-huh. Okay,、um, what about one way and return? You know,、mm. one way and and return tickets. Okay, so one way is 单程票 Dan cheng piao. Dan means single.、Uh-huh. Cheng means、um, journey,、uh-huh. single journey ticket. Dan cheng piao.、Mm-hmm. Um, and what about a return ticket or a, a round trip? Yeah, you, you say 回程票回程票回 means to return. Okay. Okay. So return journey ticket.、Mm. 回程票 And could I see? Could I specify that I want a hard seat return ticket? Yep. 
我想要单程硬座票 So 单程 comes first, then mm-hmm. 硬座票 yeah. We obviously don't need to repeat 票 Okay, so uh, 我想一张单程硬座票 Very good, but you need to add 要 我想, I want to have 我想要 or 我想买一张 So 我想要 mm. I want to have What was the other one you said? Or 买 That's to buy mm-hmm. 我想买一张 I'll change it this time 回程 uh, So you want to spend good money to buy a return soft seat <laughs> A return soft seat for my comfort <laughs> Very yes. good one final question about trains, and that is a very important question. Uh, also, uh, for for Harry Potter fans, I believe, <laughs> which platform does the train leave from? Platform, 站台. 站台. Mm-hmm. Okay, so 站台. So which one? You could say 几号 because 号 is a number. Yeah. So which number platform? Yeah. Okay. 几号站台. 几号 站台, mm-hmm. sorry, 站台, 站, fourth tone, 台, second, second tone. tone. Mm-hmm. So, which number of platform? If we wanted to expand that out and ask actually which train, which platform does the train leave from? Yeah, so you start with 火车, so the train, 从, from, 几号, which number? 站台, platform, 发车, Leave. Hmm. That all makes sense. We understood every hmm. single one of those words individually. It's putting them all together. That's the difficult thing. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I can do that. Tones again, okay? Bye-bye. Fantastic. We have learned now how to deal with train tickets and indeed much more about travel and cope with all of that in Chinese. As ever, this is not all from Coffee Break Chinese. We provide a video version, a bonus audio lesson, and indeed some lesson notes to help you get more out of the Coffee Break Chinese experience. You can find out all about that and how to access these bonus materials at coffeebreakchinese.com. Why don't you tell us about your experiences of traveling in China? Have you taken the Gao Tie or on a long distance train? Did you opt for Ying Zuo or Ran Zuo? We'd love to hear your stories. So post them on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash coffeebreakchinese. That's it for this lesson. We'll be back again soon with the final lesson in this part of our Coffee Break Chinese course. That's lesson 20. But for now, see you again. See You have been listening to a production of the Copy Break Academy for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>